Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Quasimorph, shall we? Checking out the new update that released just a few days ago. It's still in the beta branch, but I'm excited to see what it's all about. Alex, good evening, good to see you. Alright, so uh, I apologize for the late start this evening, starting about 20 or so minutes late, but better late than never, and I have just, uh, was messing around right before I booted up, and I cannot play my save file, but that doesn't really matter, it's not like I was very far, so we'll just go ahead and start a new one. In tears and blood. Liars, tyrants, idealists, they all tried to bring happiness on the edge of a sword. Right, they did. Now, I'm going to actually skip this because we just watched this last week when we played. Um, and I'm starting a new game because I'm playing with the updates, but they require you to play on the beta branch. All right, sounds good. Do you want to continue training? Um, you know what? I don't think so. I don't think they changed anything with this portion of the game. So I'm just going to go uh, over here. Hey, Bryson. Jam Nuska, good evening. Good to see you. That's right. Only a little bit like a morph. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we're orbiting Phobos. And uh, let's see. Do I have a journal or anything like that? No. Okay. And this is difficulty five stars. So the elimination here, <laughs> uh, that's a little, or five skulls. That's too difficult for me. How about um, something not that hard? Also named after a gun. Okay, so uh, let's see. What should I do? Do I want to go to the service station? And let's use Francis here. He's naked. He's ready to go. Uh, we're going to go with Scout. I do like the Scout class. And do I have any equipment? Okay, they started me. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the stuff that they started me with here. Okay, then. Well, that's a friendly beginning. Uh, so, I do love assault rifles. How much ammo did they give me? 40? That's pretty good. I'm going to take an assault rifle in my main hand. And we need a backpack. Is this a 6x3? What is this thing? Yeah, great. And we'll take a mag vest like this. Uh, it does protect against the cold a little, which seems pretty cool. And then we'll put the bullets down here. All right, and I've got some, you know, regular clothing I can wear. There we go, just some basic armor. Okay, and... I could take a knife or, like, a police baton, but I think I kind of want to take this modified pistol. Well, what type of ammo is that taking? 42 bullets. Um, or 9mm bullets are so plentiful. I'm going to take this um, submachine gun as an alt weapon. I love having the rifle, but in, in my experience, and it's limited, granted, I seem to run out of bullets and not find as many of these um, 7.97 bullets for the rifle that I need. But 9mm bullets are all around. So many of the foes that you fight use melee weapons. Oh, there's a balaclava. Well, God knows we're putting a ski mask on. We know what our job is. Okay. Um, oh, wait. These are makeshift boots. No, these are better in all respects than what we're wearing here. Give me these. And put these back. And then this is a 6x2 tourist tactical backpack. No, no, no. Okay, so we're doing good on... I'm going to put these bullets over here. We're doing fine on bullets. But we need to make sure that we take... Uh, you know... A first aid kit. A couple bandages. I'm going to take one antibiotic. Generally, you don't need more than that. God, I hope I don't. 
Uh, let's see, a blood bag. I mean, no thank you. I'm not really trying to boost Quasimorphitis. I'll take one splint. I don't want the whole stack, though. I'm leaving... So, if you die, you lose some stuff. So, I'd like to just leave myself some reserves in case the unthinkable happens. And... By the way, I'm just going into the station, so nothing's going to happen to me right now. But just in case, you get to keep the loadout that you set your character with. Uh, water is pretty good for just healing. All right. I think this is pretty reasonable. I might want to take some grenades or something, but I've got enough ammo here. I have some uh, health items, and I feel pretty good about this. Okay. Okay. So then, let's visit the station and see if we can get a mission. I don't want to take that five skull mission unless I have to. Now granted, I've never actually skipped a tutorial before. Um, since we conduct illegal activities, trade transactions between corporations and participants in the Dignitas market are not available to us, but given our influence on the solar system, corporations are ready to barter with us. All right, so... She's giving us the rundown of how we trade. And basically, uh, the trader is over here. And you can see what they'll buy and sell. Uh, what do you want? So, this is what they will buy and sell. Circuit boards, drugs, explosives. You know, the usual. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's any kind of quest for me here. So I'm going to bounce out and just go uh, somewhere else. Now, this Charon Dock Bay orbital port is a little bit too challenging. Do I have any other options? I kind of feel like going um, to the system map and just heading somewhere else. But another thing I could do is just try this. Um, so, um, the Church of Revelation is interested in the fact that the scientist who is currently working in Charon Dock Bay should stop his work. Apparently, Planet Bridge is about to have some sort of breakthrough and if it happens, Church of Revelation will lose market positions. I love this game. It's so funny. Like, so you're a mercenary. You're for hire. And people request your services for all sorts of stuff like this. Like, just balancing out their political needs. And so the Church of Revelation is like, well, this would be terrible if the scientist makes this, you know, breakthrough. So I'll try this with my dude, but I don't. I mean, it's already on mission level four. This seems like a terrible idea, and I can't wait to start it up. The signature of the target is visible on the sensors very clearly. It will not be difficult to identify it. The scientist looks like a scientist. Great. White coat, smart face. They hold on to tradition so tightly. Uh, they would also be happy with the case system. We will land the shuttle at Charon Dock Bay, where the... Defense systems will allow it. Move from level to level until you reach your goal. Resistance is expected. The local security or PMCs are already occupying combat posts. Exploring Charon Dock Bay is not on the to-do list, but if you see something of interest, act accordingly. So, I mean, this is an extraction game, so what she's telling me is, like, I need to go in, get down to the fifth floor, and take out the target. And there's not necessarily a need to, you know, thoroughly exhaust each floor. However, if I want to level up and find better stuff, it might be in my interest to do so. Signal lost. Oh, you hate to see that. Uh, there is a busted up mag vest here. That's not great. Alright, here we go. So... Nothing on these shelves. 
All right. Um, looks like a kind of a rocky interior that I'm checking out. We'll go this way then. So, normal walking type, normal. No, wait a minute here. What's this? Huh. I don't even know what I did. I don't know what clicking on this does. It means run away or run to what you're hovering over? I'm not sure. All right, here's a baddie. Can I target this? Yes. All right, I think that guy's dead. Uh, I'm on rapid fire. I'm going to go ahead and burst fire just to save ammo. And let me kind of see up here. What's this? Glass. Okay. Take it. Military first aid kit. Yeah, we'll take it. Great. All right, so this guy's burning still. Uh, he's on no longer on fire. Uh, rusty parts. Okay, he has really good armor. Now, it's in poor condition, but it's better than pretty much everything I have. So, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to take these bullets. Uh, he has a self-loading pistol. That's fine. That's not that great. And I'm going to go ahead and just put on... Um, no, no, I didn't mean to drop it. Here. Okay. So now I've put on all of this brigand armor pieces to get a little bit stronger. I'm feeling good. Oh, here's a bad person who wants to melee me. It looks like I dodged it. My god. They are no longer with us. Okay. So she was coming at me with a glass shank. That's not going to do it. Um, but I admire your poise. Now, something I wasn't doing before is disassembling things. So this is going to get you raw crafting components. And it's generally easier to carry stuff around as raw components. So I'm going to try to practice doing this a bit more. All right, uh, this is just a rando. Nobody happens to has the chest piece to this armor. Let me compare this. Uh, sometimes it's not easy to compare. 65, 65. Uh, this is, oh no, it's, I'm mousing over it, so that does compare it. Okay, so I'm going to actually equip these um, instead of what I'm wearing, just because they're in better condition. And we will disassemble this. And then these are also in better condition. So great. Now, can I disassemble your gun? This is also something I wasn't doing, which is unloading the ammo and then disassembling the gun. So I need to be a lot better at cannibalizing all of the supplies that the game has. All right. Okay. Uh, ooh, look at these pants. So these pants are workwear pants. They resist blunt, fire, cold, and shock really well, but they're not good against pierce, cut, or poison. So I'm going to keep what I have, but... Uh... There we go. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to run backward because of this barrel. Now, I think these guys have melee. Um, I only have eight bullets left, so I'm going to reload. It's going to take one, two. These guys are just coming through the fire like they don't even care. Okay. It was nice knowing you. Did you guys have anything nice? They had some nails, nail gun. Oh, here's some chest armor. It's in terrible condition durability wise but it's better than uh, my own armor in terms of you know just being stout so 
So I'm just ripping everything to shreds. I don't need your nails. Uh, this guy had on this safety helmet with earpieces. That's pretty hysterical. Alright, well, let's just rip everything apart. I'm interested in seeing how high these resource stacks go to. Yeah, I was playing the game so badly before uh, not doing this. Because look how high, like, thread stacks to. And you can craft, um, amputate. No, that's not what we're going for, but I appreciate the offer. Um, uh, this is some wire. Okay. All right. Oh, my, my mag magazine only holds 24, so no big deal. All right. This is delicious chocolate, which we will eat. And um, we'll go ahead and just pick up that plastic. Pick up this wire. Look down the hallway. Zoom out. Nobody that we see. Okay. All right. I'm gonna open this. All right, there's somebody. There was somebody. So they have uh, some vodka. and Oh my god, they just have gasoline and a jackhammer. Okay, but this... Um, workwear armor is better than what I have, except for resisting pierce on my chest. So I'm going to equip this. And we can go ahead and disassemble that. This is better at everything except for Pierce and Poison. And mine is, like, very good at Pierce. So, you know, having a little bit of everything is pretty reasonable. Uh, this is a short pipe. I don't need that. They really want to give me gas. Siloom, good evening. Good to see you. I can tell that it would be a very smart idea to walk around with gasoline in a game like this. Probably actually has uses. I just too dumb to figure it out. Um, so what's nice is the um, oh that's right when you're in the Mars system, your quasi morphosis does not boost. Okay, so antibiotics. That's great. Oh my god, look at this jerk trying to. Oh whoa, who are you? All right, they snuck up on me. And they lunged in and hit me with an axe. Uh, they're dead now, but we are... We have some lacerations, so uh, we have a little problem here on the old uh, arm. It's just a laceration, so I'm going to use the bandage on it. And we have a bit of an infection. This is Siloom. This is Francis. But um, I will tell you, Siloom, that I started a completely new game because there's an update that came out, um, maybe on Thursday or something of last week, and you have to play in the beta branch to use it, so your old save file is, doesn't work. So I'm, I, this is a brand new game just to play with the uh, new features. I'm not even sure what's new, but I want to play on the latest stuff. Now, do I want to use an antibiotic to get rid of the infection or do I want to try to ride it out and see if it'll pass on its own that doesn't seem to usually happen this is pretty you know good at infection um so is the regular first aid kit but I'm not I'm not so hurt that I need to heal myself with a you know I I'm only down 15 hit points. Ah, you know what? I'm going to just use this, and that'll take care of my infection. The The wound should be taken care of as well. It's been stabilized. Maybe not. Maybe I lied about that. This is better condition than mine. This is tempting. Um, maybe I need to use something more on the laceration. 
Yeah, it's not going away. So I used a bandage on it, and it stabilizes it, but maybe I just, I need sutures or something. Okay, it went away. I was worried about that. All right, great. Uh, let's see here. These look empty. This is a little bit of water if I want it, which we do. Water is always tremendous. And I'm getting hungry. So I could keep going. Generally, what you want to do is, um, well, bodybuilding increase to level three. How did bodybuilding go to level three, I wonder? Maybe it did keep some of my stuff. Or maybe he just starts with bodybuilding that high. I can't remember. All right. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to eat one of these rations that I brought. Fill up. And we're going to hit this. We're going to go floor two. I'm going to try to move pretty quickly. So I don't run out of food. Alright, there's a gun on the ground. Let me just kind of scope it out. This is a Hydra tactical pistol. I'll take the ammo. Disassemble that. Oh, there's somebody. Okay, well that's not going to work. Oh. Okay, they moved pretty quickly there. Alright, people coming in. There's somebody down here. This is out of my range, but I still got him. But as you can see, sadly, my awesome rifle is running out of bullets. Uh, she has a chocolate bar. There's a nice cap. Alright. So I guess maybe the other thing to consider is you can stack a lot of stuff. But there is an equipment weight screen, which is hurting my um, dodge chance because I'm carrying around so much junk. I don't really mind. Oh. Okay. The world is about to change. It's ended for you. Um, blood bag. Alright, so maybe I shouldn't take everything apart because I'm just becoming too heavy, but at the same time, um, this is a makeshift grenade. This is a drink that extinguishes fire, and that's something else that you gotta factor in. This is, um, even better durability. Alright, I feel okay about this. Uh... Do I want a makeshift grenade? Not at the moment. Well, actually... No, no, I don't need to be evacuated. I have no bullets left for the rifle, so what I'm going to do is just pick up this person's grenade and put it on my belt. Alright, let's go down here. Um... I mean... Yeah... Nothing great. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that there was somebody down there. Ouch, and I got myself shot. Okay. Alright, I'm going to actually switch over to uh, rapid fire, and they're all dead. That's pretty funny. I got myself hit where? In the head. That's a good place to get hit. It's a deep wound. That's really bad. Um, stabilize it. Chance of recovery, 70%. Okay. 
I see. So for this to go away, you have to wait for the stabilization countdown to go down. All right. Fair enough. He, he shot me with a nail is what I think happened right there. Makes sense. Who doesn't want to shoot you with a nail? Oh, um, yep. I was still on burst fire. Good. Man, there were a lot of bad guys on this floor. Whoa. This person was dodging very well. The builder. We're going to eat your chocolate bar. Delicious. All right. Is this better durability than what I have on? Somehow it is. Okay. Um, this is the auto dock. Oh. What was that? A trap? All right. Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, there's a person. I didn't even see them. Okay. Jeez. I was like, what happened? All right. All right. I got to fix that. Okay. That was bad on my part. Um, I'm very low on hit points. So let's go to my inventory. And let's use the military first aid kit. And see if this will fix us up in some way. Okay, we still have um, some a fracture and a deep wound. Hey, Taco, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. All right, so this is the deep wound, and this is the fracture. So we're going to use the splint on this, I guess. Oh. No, there's, there's a separate timer on this. I see, 13 and 16. Okay. So I have a bit of a debuff while this is happening to me. All right, there's some incendiary ammunition. I mean, that's nice. Okay, good. We got some nice stuff in here that can hopefully help us, you know, not outright die. Our health is full. We just have a little bit of an issue. Uh, we can heal the wound if we want. I'm going to heal one wound. Might as well. Oh, that door was locked. Okay. So this is, you know, we're getting to... Oh, there's a Mr. Meaty. Well, eat it. Delicious. We're getting to the end of our ammo. Which is not great. And I'm going to have... I have two bullets left, and I'm going to have to switch over to my other gun. I have plenty of ammo with the 9mm, but... Something to always consider. <laughs> That's awesome, Siloom. That is exactly what it feels like. It is nice, isn't it? So, this whiskey... Gives you a chance to become addicted to alcohol, but it heals hypothermia, takes down that quasi-morphosis, reduces pain. It's pretty good. canned food. Um, wow, that's good stuff. I could actually stack that. There's a cable. We'll take that for crafting. Ooh, a blaster prototype. So this only has 12 bullets, but it looks sweet. I didn't bring that battery with me, unfortunately, but honestly, this thing only has two bullets left. So let's just go ahead and do that. And this is the elevator for the next floor. I'm just going to keep going. 
see if we can, quote, make it to the next floor. All right, we're on floor three. And let's just look around. All right, there's some bookshelves here. Make sure there's no bad guys. What's this? A research station. Um, complex equipment. Oh, I guess it weighs a bunch, but maybe people would buy it for a lot. Like if I, you know, got it to the station, I'm going to eat the chocolate. We'll take that. I don't know if it's worth, like, lugging around a research station. I mean... I guess I could. I'll take it. I'll pretend like it's good. It makes you more hungry. Oh my goodness, this room is really scary. Spare parts container. Industrial spare parts. I don't know. I don't want to be caught in this room. This laser rifle is hilarious. I probably don't need to be using it on these guys. What is this? Wetware tank. Ready to use biomass. So it says it's a barter item. So I assume this just means that you want to use it to trade with people. That's cool. If you're here to make money. Here's the elevator down. We should just get in and get out. Did you have any weapons or anything? No. I mean, you have a slightly better shirt. Okay. Uh, I'm going to eat this canned food. And what is this? A military first aid kit? Sweet. I got two now. That makes me feel a little bit safer. It probably shouldn't. This is a large caliber pistol. It takes rifle ammo, though, which um, I don't have. So I'm just going to go to floor four. And just recklessly charge ahead. All right, let me look around. Uh... There's a baddie. Out of ammo. Oh, I was on rapid fire. Dun, dun, dun. That's a shame. All right, then no problem. Who this gun does not do as much damage as you're hoping. They died. Okay. Do you have a gun? No. What about you? You have a grenade. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a nice grenade, but... Ooh, that's in very good condition. Nearly perfect condition, I'd say. You have a liberator. Okay, so... I could be unloading these to get rifle ammo, uh, which is a smart plan. But I'm not smart. I don't even have that gun anymore. Uh, this is a darknet unit. And this is a... You know, Big Mac or something, alright? So I'll take this kind of stuff for trading purposes. If, I don't think you can go back up. If I could, and like, maybe you can, and retrace my steps to go get my rifle, maybe that would be the smart play. Bodybuilding up. Oh man, I broke the chest. I probably broke what was inside too, being an idiot. That's an automatic shotgun. So this thing has nine rounds. So we'll take it instead of what we have. Robot parts. What is this? Another... It's a container. I guess it just 
I mean, I don't have any robots. Heathrun, good evening. Good to see you. I wish I had robots. Wish I had 50 robots. I don't. I don't know. I'll take the shotgun for now, though. Please say you have some bullets. Well, I could take that. I'm going to use this shotgun buckshot. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. So you got to run away and just stand here. In a situation like that with exploding barrels, I've died to that before. It is not good. I'm just going to wait and see if this guy will come down. I don't know if he sees me. Uh, he's so far away. Yeah, that's about exactly what I thought. I was like, can I shoot over the barrel? And the answer is not really. So I'm on fire. So what we can do is um, I'm being burned. I could put a bandage on it. I'm no, I don't think I'm on fire at the moment. I've got some infection going. Let me see what my hit points. I didn't actually take that much damage. I'll just eat an antibiotic. Man, you take a lot more damage on the arm when it's burning. Makes sense. I'm going to wait. Just pushing spacebar to wait for all that fire to pass. This guy's still here. I don't even knew, like, know if he was aware that I was here. Man, the submachine gun does next to no damage. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? A builder? I keep pushing T when I mean to push R for reload. Alright, they're dead. I'm going to switch over to single fire, but I don't know if it's going to actually do anything for me. Uh, rusty metal. Very nice. This guy just has a wrench. All right. Uh, there is another person. Well, the single shot seemed to work on them. I'll take it. Uh, okay. Somebody was running away over there. Right, they're dead. God, this room filled with gasoline barrels is not great. I'm no longer on fire. I can just eat it. And I can eat that, get a little sustenance back. Let's see. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. I'm going to switch to the shotgun. And they're both dead. That was the desired effect. Good old shotguns. Hey, they have a bandage. That's nice. And they have a chocolate bar. I'll eat that. I can't actually hold the bandage at the moment. Let me look at the map. So this is the elevator that I found. I'm on the fourth floor. I need to get to the fifth floor find a target that we're supposed to assassinate. So let's go over here. Um, there is some thread. All right, fine. Now, I, I don't think that I can actually just craft without a crafting bench, right? Let me just check the uh, controls.
I don't think so. I think you gotta have find a workbench. You could do it on the ship, of course, but Man, this game is so sadistic with the amount of exploding barrels. Hey crab, good evening, good to see you. Alright, here's the elevator down. That's what we need. Alright, I'm gonna be yeah, I'm on my shotgun. No no. We're gonna use the shotgun. Because I expect heavy resistance right here. Right, I'm turning both ways. I don't see anything at the moment. There's a balaclava. All problems are solved. Oh my god. Heathrun, isn't this game awesome, my friend? I am really enjoying it myself. Although, boy, I totally underestimated how many bullets I should bring. I think there was one mission I did. Maybe it was just even the tutorial. And I was able to find bullets, you know, all over the place, I felt like. Or at least somewhat. It just depends on where you're going and what the people have. But, boy, these people don't have... Uh, laboratory clothes, clothing container. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to disassemble these to get stuff out of these containers or what the deal is with them. I'm just kind of picking them up, assuming that they're useful, but I don't actually know. What I do know is I'm very low on bullets. Oh, that guy shot me. Oh my god. Okay, this person has a... Oh, that's the scientist with a, bi a bigger weapon. Okay. And I'm seriously... No, 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 don't do that. Um, I'm okay. I want to run through the fire... Hey, Corey, what's up, my friend? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm excited to see how uh, Lens Island continues to update. No, I didn't mean to shoot. I'm trying to just walk. I know I'm going to catch on fire, but I need to run away the, from the grenade. Okay, so I'm going to go to my health screen. I'm in bad shape. I'm going to, what do we got here? Burn a radiation. Okay, fix it up, fix it up. Then go into your backpack and go ahead and use this first aid kit on yourself i don't know if i could do anything about radiation oh god the fire spread now that i didn't expect um okay i'm on fire can i extinguish myself yes i put myself out and the scientist is coming. This is kind of scary. I'm going to wait for this guy. Let me look at him. He's not even that hurt. That's alarming. Ow. How is, hurt is he now? Not hurt. So my gun is just doing next to nothing to this guy. I'm on fire again. Um, all 
I, I kind of stunned him with my gun. I don't have any more grenades. I don't have any more bullets. I can reload this gun. Let me look at this guy. He is reloading, and he is... Um, not messing around. I need to reload as well. I do not care for my chances. I might need to go up a floor and try to find another weapon. This um, submachine gun just doesn't quite do the kind of damage I'm looking for, or he has much better armor than was advertised. Uh, this got broken, so it's not doing its job anymore. Uh, what was this? I think it's just a, a pipe or something. Um, I'm down 10 health, so we can eat this to kind of heal a little bit. And we'll just wait for the bad guy to come in. Oh, no, I'm not down that much. It's, um, I need to eat. Just see if the guy comes around the corner. He did. Okay, I have no bullets for anything. Um, I'm going to go up to floor four. I'm leaving the scientist here. I don't know if I lose automatically if I do this, but I need to find some other weapon, whatever it might be. We're okay. We do have some radiation sickness. I don't think any of my stuff will deal with radiation. You know, Corey, that's a great question, my friend. I'm very excited about Manor Lords. I'm going to be, I believe, um, that I will be getting a key for that when it comes out because it's Hooded Horse and they've always been very nice about providing me with keys. And so I'm pumped about it when that comes out. Yes. Oh, here's a workbench. Derp, I just missed it. Okay, I can use this. All right, so we can craft some stuff. So what do we need right away? Um, I need, I can't craft ammo or anything. I could craft a backpack. I could craft bandages. Grenades would require tin nails and explosives none of those items that i had so that's a it's a nice idea but i need something else i mean do i need to just swing a baseball bat at this guy alexander what's up my friend thank you for subscribing it's all i've got is just this which is terrifying Uh, this guy's got a crowbar. It's actually way better than my baseball bat. We can, you know, Morgan Freeman, or not Morgan Freeman. How about Gordon Freeman, <laughs> the one free man? I mean, Morgan Freeman might have a crowbar also. I don't know. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, it's just coming to Game Pass, Heathrun? Okay, great. That's awesome. Well, then I won't have to worry about it. 
Um, what was that noise? Was that the noise of me? Or was that the noise of one of these guys waking up as a quasi-morph nightmare? I'm in Mars, though, so that shouldn't happen. Or I'm on Mars, rather. Okay. This guy has a jackhammer. Which I could use, I guess, if I had gasoline. That's a possibility. Sometimes these people have nail guns. Let's kind of see what else there is out here. I mean, I'll take anything at this point. Here's my prototype weapon that ran out of charge. Sad. I think that's just me throwing up from the radiation poisoning. Which is not good. So I need to go fight that guy at some point. Puke chance 5%. Well, here we are. We finally made our way back to a gun that has some ammo. And it's this Liberator large caliber pistol. It has three shots on it. But that's three more than we've got. All right. I'm just puking all over myself. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Mouse, what's up, my friend? I should, right? I should show him what's what. With my projectile vomiting, indeed. Um... I hate to be such a, you know, coward, but I need to have bullets before I take that guy out. There's a possibility that I just run out of um, food. Here's another one. Great. So I can unload the ammo and then, um, well, there's more elegant ways to load, but that's that works. Oh, is this a... Oh, it's a wetware tank. I thought it was bullets. Here's a nail gun. Okay, great. So, I mean, not great, but it's something. So it's got... I could fire this. All right, so I have two guns now that actually have bullets. Um, unload the ammo. Hit me. All right, so I'm going to switch over, and we're going to reload this thing. There we go. All right. And uh, Moo Moo is good. This is food. I'm puking. All right. I think at this point, even if we're not going to win, we have to go try to fight this guy. And just pray he hasn't replenished his health. So we're going to just run over and see if we could take him. If not, well, then it's time to get cloned. I'm going to run up here. Now the problem is um, I can't really run because I'm sick. So the game um, doesn't let you click to move when you are sick like this. Because every turn I'm taking damage. So they're trying to tell me you're in bad shape. But trust me, I know. Alright. Uh, we're going to eat the Moo Moo. Uh, yeah. Alright, go down to level 5. So let's see, is this guy going to just be waiting for us right here? Yep. Alright, we've got cover. Oh my god, we got him. 
Whoa, I'm so shocked. I thought for sure we were dead. All right, he had, yeah, he had this sweet gun with this ammo. That's what, get, look at his stuff. He had this unbelievable helmet. This is why this guy was so hard. He had um, these glory pants, these armored trousers. Yeah, so I'm going to take the helmet because it's better than what I have. And then I'm going to take these pants. He was just outfitted to the nines. Those are about perfect level stuff. So now, I mean, at the very least... We ended up completing the mission. Good job. Go back to the elevator. Alright. Now there's probably treasure chests and things like that, but let's get out of here. The market balance has been restored. Now everything is on an equal footing again. This is why we love egalitarian capitalism. Oh, yes. Who doesn't? Church of Revelation sent us a valuable package for us to field test. There's some of their new stuff. The cargo is already aboard the Magnum. Excelente. All right. So what did we get? Uh, well, what we got is going to have a badge on it. So, ooh, look at this. Yeah, they gave this... the electromagnetic gun uh and two of them in my experience these electromagnetic guns are insane so that's very good reward for us it'll keep us alive plus we have this blaster prototype rifle so i'm gonna take um this thing and just put this gun in the inventory and i'm gonna unload everything else to here and we will uh, finish the mission. Okay. So I don't think there's any other missions for us to do right here. But what we can do is we can go to the service station and see if... Uh, this is Francis. They are willing to trade anything. And, you know, we got a lot of barter items like that research station and such. I wonder if they'll pay good money for that. All right, so what do they want? They will pay for industrial spare parts, which we did get. So we can... Um, well, what else do they want? AI module... Nothing that we have. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. I, I think it's a translation issue, Heathrun. I think they're meaning like free market. But generally the whole point of capitalism is that it's not egalitarian. There are winners and losers in that game. Uh, you might say that the rules are quote-unquote fair, but that's pretty arguable or debatable. Um, let's see. I want to sell you these industrial spare parts. All right. Um, here, I'm going to put them over here for you. And we get 83 bucks. Whatever that is. So if I go into my inventory, where can I... I always forget this. Where do I see how much cash I actually have? I think it must be, Alex. I, it's got to be, right? Um, I don't see it. Where's me money? All right, let's get out of here. Maybe it, you could see it on board the ship. Well, I bet I could see it if I'm trading with this fool. No, they just probably give you money, but you can't maybe buy stuff from them. I don't know how this works. I'm just making it up. All right, then... 
Uh, what is this? A mining base, the colony, the colony. So they kind of tell you, oh, you don't even have to. You could see here what they'll buy. Okay. All right, spacecraft. The capacity of our mother spacecraft allows us to produce items directly on board. Right. So we can craft a few things, like we can craft this food, which we pretty much always need. This is 400, this is 350, so... One... I don't think I need a shirt. Bandage might be nice. And a splint, you know, seems wise. What do you need? You need rotten meat for antibiotics. I guess it does have mold on it, but seems horrifyingly disgusting. Okay, so let me check my character. Let's see, what is this? Um... Oh, oh, okay. Sunlight Coven is interested in purchasing... Oh, these are the missions that are available. So this is on the moon. This is on Mercury. I see. Okay. Um, we already did this one, though. Um, all right, let's go to the system map. And we're here. So the moon of Earth has two missions, which would be an easy one and a really hard one. Let's go. We produced a few items as we're traveling. That's kind of cool. You know, when the... When you're traveling in the ship and just around the solar system, it really reminds me of like Homeworld, the original Homeworld. Um, it's pretty sweet. Okay, we made it. So we're going to do this one. And wait, what do they want me to do? Eliminate 50% of the defenders of MTZ. Sure. All right. So, Francis, um, we're going to change your equipment. You're looking great, but... Do I want to take my most formidable weapons into this fight? And the answer is yes. I know it's probably a waste, but I'm going to do it because I want to survive and I want to keep going. So we will take some ammo as a backup. And this thing, what does this reload with? Is this just you need to repair it? I think that actually is the case. You just have to fix it. So then we will take splints... I'm not even going to bother splitting, I guess. Um, well, no, I should. Hey, Nicholas. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing well. Uh, here, can you sort this? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't need both of those. That's reasonable. And then... We do need some other stuff. So we're going to just divide and at least take two. Take two of those. Take that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Take the food. I'd say this looks good. Do I have any water left over? I don't think I do. We can get some, though. There are 10 seconds left before landing. All right. Move slowly. As soon as the security cards or PMCs guarding MTZ realize the battle is lost, they'll retreat or lay down their weapons. Usually it's enough to destroy 50% of the combatants. Keep an eye on the indicators, but if you feel that you have enough strength and supplies, then you could explore this place. All right. All we got to do is just blow people away. I like a mission like this. Nice and straightforward. Just shoot stuff. This we can do. There's no killer scientist waiting for us.
Now look at that cool helmet that we got. Okay, you could see that the uh, Q-morphosis is ticking up because... Oh, okay, there's a human heart. I mean, I don't even know what to say about that, but yes, we found a human heart and we'll take it. All well, these games where you can pick up a heart. Um, I'm going to use this gun for now. And use the rifle if things get crazy. You see what I mean? This gun is so good. Uh, this guy has... This Silent Eagle. Um, okay, I'll take this and just get some ammo for it. If there's anything I've learned about this game... Hey, Alex, good evening. A hearty meal indeed, Silent Goodwood. It's that you want a lot of ammo. And so, I don't have... All right, there's a bad guy here. I'm just going to wait for you. Actually, no. Here you come. Ooh, that guy was hard to hit, but he's dead now. I don't have any problem just getting as much ammo as possible. This is an orthopedic cast and st saving it on the ship. Um, okay, yeah. Orthopedic. I like orthopedic stuff. Electrical parts, okay, so you know that some bases are going to want that for trade. Uh, armor plate, okay. Some nice specialized rifle ammo. Uh, here's a driller, and here's a thermal container. So does that mean I could put the human heart in the container? No. It says capacity 1 out of 10. So, what do you do with this? I still haven't figured out a lot of this game. Maybe you're supposed to just take containers apart, or maybe you can use them as inventory expansion? I don't know, it doesn't feel like that. Ow. Ow! It's a paramedic. What, with a shotgun? Alright, I did get hit, but luckily it's just a scratch. It is just a scratch. This says it's self-healing. So how about that? And that's because probably we have some reasonable armor. Um, this is some medical glue. This is a very good healing item, actually. Probably want this instead of something that I have. Maybe what I should do is not pick up the pistol, but just pick up the ammo. Save that. Alright, there's some buckshot for that shotgun that we found. Here's a Mr. Meaty. We can eat this. It's delicious. Who doesn't want that? And this is a microchip. Uh, fixes energy weapons. Okay. Well, speaking of the energy weapons, uh, I'm just going to unload the ammo and carry that. Alright, so let me look at the map. Uh, there's a lot of places we need to go. I'm going to stay on the first floor because, in general, if it's going to be easier and all I need to do is kill 50% of these guys... Ooh, there was a door right there I missed. Let's just stay up here and just blow these guys away. Yeah, this game is great, Alex. I'm too far away to hit reliably. But God knows what that guy is doing. He's dead now. He might have been getting stunned. I'm not sure.
All right. I love bullets like this. Ammo seems the most valuable to me at the moment. Uh, this is a servo backpack. Nah, don't need it. Interesting. Nail gun. Ha ha. Ooh. This armor is sick. Goodness gracious. Now, it's heavy, right? Like, it's heavier than what I've got, but... I just like carrying really, really heavy armor. I don't care. This is um, a huntsman's rifle. And looks like we were able to take the bullets. And maybe they went over here. Yeah. The Dr. Jones surgical kit is super useful. Saves your life. Can I just say, um, do you see what's going on with this human heart? It's an organ. <laughs> exactly, Alex. And it explodes. So, you, what, you throw the heart and it takes one turn to explode? With what? Blood? Like, I, I don't even understand that, but I'll take this instead. It's a human heart grenade. The phenomenon in which a creature is torn from the inside and a quasi-morph appears in its place is called an ecolapse. So we got a bad boy here. The first move is invulnerable, so we just don't do anything right now. We just kind of wait. Oh, but it's fighting the, the guy right here, which is kind of funny. We'll just wait for that fight to happen. I'm just going to watch it. Who's going to win? You tell me. They're fighting it out. The service, Minorum, and the manager. This is the employee is like, my evil spirit's going to kill you, buddy. Oh, he shot me. That's a bad move on your part. Aww. Man, this thing is hard to hit. Alright. Hey, Joker, what's up, my friend? Good evening. I'm switching to my rifle. It's dead. Alright, we got a fracture. A contusion. It's self-healing, which is pretty sweet. So I don't need to do anything to it. I'm not really hurt that much. I have to say that the reason I feel that I'm not getting hurt that much is because of my insane heavy armor. Ooh, look at this. Self-loading pistol. That looks like a pretty sick weapon. Makeshift helmet. Yeah, this person, the manager, they were well outfitted. Ooh, okay. So finally I got some better boots. So I've been looking for any of these boots that are like this. That's like, you know, this has got 10 armor across the board. We found it. Crispy, good evening. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> that is management material, Mouse. Were you doing that corned beef for St. Patrick's Day? I had a buddy, Crispy, that was doing corned beef for St. Patty's Day in the crock pot. That's crazy, Crispy. I'm sorry to hear that. You know what? I'm I'm a little bit on the edge with salt, where it's like, I actually like salt so much that I can eat stuff that normal humans might not want to eat that's really salty, because I like the salt. Uh, chemical processor. All right, we could sell this to somebody. What I'm going to do is uh, switch to this gun, reload it. And then I'm going to go into my inventory. 
and I'm going to drop this ammo down and then go here and pick up that. There you go. Oh, bad guy. I love that you can switch weapons in this without really passing time. Oh, wow, Joker. Yeah, I've heard of that. My grandma was like that. She would just be like, I can't taste it otherwise. Fair enough. Do what you gotta do. Ow. All right, get out of here. Okay, I was... Man, and a quasi, I'm missing so badly. All right, let me check out my health. I'm not that hurt, but this is self-healing. This is a deep wound, and it's infected. All right, so what we're going to do is just going to treat it. And we have a little bit of infection. Oh, we got evil demon man talking to us. So we're just going to shoot him with the uh, energy rifle, and he's gone. Reload it. I got an infection brewing, so I'm going to take these antibiotics just to get rid of it. And the shoulder wound should heal us, or should get fixed pretty soon. Uh, this is a tactical pistol. It has 9mm rounds in it. We don't have any space in, in our inventory at the moment for 9mm rounds, so we'll just leave that there. All of our medical trauma has been healed. I'm getting hungry, but... The task is simple. Alright, so... We haven't completed it yet, but we're getting... We gotta be getting close. Well, Devin, it's a great question, my friend. I have to tell you, I've been playing a bunch, but I don't know if it's just because... I haven't played the game... You know, I've only played for like four or five hours, so... I've been having a blast with the game, but I don't know how much of it is new content that I've been doing. Spider gland, animal organ. Wonderful. Alright, looks like we are going to have to go to the next level. Fine, we can do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's over here? Well, uh, there's a barrel filled with acid or something. I'm just going to check this out, make sure there's not any peeps. <laughs> hey! Quaff, what's up, my friend? Good evening. I would love a rundown on what has changed. I have no idea. I got to read the patch notes. All right, here we go. We're on floor two. And there's some 9mm bursting ammo. There's some morphine. I don't believe that I need that. Oh, man, I'm looking for some food. Nope. All right, I got to eat this canned food. Hilarious jokers. I know, Devin. I agree. That's very major. It feels like it. So, for example, as you're talking about that, um, all right. So people hit me, and then I'm like, get out of here. I think then, maybe, and this is a small sample size, so don't judge me on it too much here, but when I was playing last week, 
This electromagnetic gun wrecked everything in like one shot. Now maybe I'm just missing, but it doesn't seem to be as powerful as it once was. This blaster is doing great. And then I got some new armor uh, that I'm pretty pleased with, but it's going to need to get repaired here. Uh, used a scanner. Alright, so this is locating all the stuff, I think. What did you have? You had, um... Oh, okay. This is pretty good stuff. Uh... Yeah, I feel like last time, Quaff, it was just cutting through every enemy. So I brought it along. It's still really good because of how efficient it is. But yeah, it, there are certain enemies that it's like tickling them. Ow, ow, okay. That's kind of cool. So, for example, um, I'm fighting... These are paramedics, I guess. Uh, but... What are their weaknesses? Oh, it looks like we completed the mission. It's blinking. I'm, I'm sure that means we killed enough people. Mr. Kiwi, good evening. Yeah, it's like that. Actually, I haven't really played Dreadmore. Oh no, I played Dungeons and Dreadmore. Never mind. Yes, I have, Mr. Kiwi. It's like Stone Shard as well. And then there's a bit of Jupiter Hell, too. A lot of cool games going on in this one. Um, water container. Oh, um, Quaff, while I have you here, what do these containers do? Are you supposed to open these up to get what's inside? Yes. Okay. You disassemble them. Okay. I, d I never could figure them out. I thought, like, you could store stuff inside them, but no, it just means that this is already here. Okay. So, then I have this, like, spare parts container. Now, if I carry the container of stuff back to my ship, does it automatically unpack into um, items that I can craft with? Oh, you could trade people them. Okay, I see. Now, another question I had that I couldn't quite figure out was, like, I couldn't see where my wep my money was. Like, I traded an item, and I maybe I didn't do it right, and I thought I got some money, but then I couldn't find a readout of, like, how much cash I actually have somewhere. Alright, let's see here. What's this? Explosives? No, I don't want that. Let's go. Mission complete. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, there's no money in this game? Oh, they give you items of value that you're trading. Okay. Huh. I don't know what I got then. I just saw a number. Like, it was like 83 or something like that. And I thought, I was thinking it was like credits. Okay. Sunlit Coven has already digitally signed the MTZ's sale declaration. We beautifully executed the acquisition deal. 
Uh, Franche Comte PS is extremely pleased with our work, and the reward has already been transferred to the Magnum. So let's see what they gave us. They gave us, oh, okay, some pointsman armor. That's cool. They gave us a bunch of bullets. And here's some more bullets and stuff. That makes sense, Quaff. Now, this is something. This game is early access, but just for me, for my eyeballs, I know they put the plus sign badge indicator on the item, but it would be nice if there was just a pop-out screen that was like, here's all the reward that you got. And then it went into your inventory instead of like having to scroll through and figure out exactly what they gave you. Um, it's not that, not like it's hard, but it's just, I would prefer that. Um, okay, so looking good. And we're going to... unload some stuff also i don't know if there's a way to save your loadout so like right here i've got all this stuff that i picked up on the mission it would be cool if there was a like a a kit loadout that i could have or i could favorite items or something so i would never deposit them but then i could unload everything else because i don't i don't want to push unload all because there's a lot of this stuff i want to keep Oh, I see. That is a good trick. Okay, so put everything like on tab two and then tab one empty so you could see the rewards that you got more clearly. That makes sense. Yeah, Mr. Kiwi, like a padlock so you could lock it. Like, no, I want to keep these first aid kits and these antibiotics, for example. It's interesting, Alex. But then again, it's early access. I'm sure they'll get all, get to all of this quality of life stuff. Sounds like they already did a huge update here. All right, so we're going to finish the mission. And um, they're in maintenance, okay. So this quest is a conquest thing. Uh, let's see, what do they want to trade me? Do I have any of the stuff that these people want? I do have some of these items. So I'm going to do this just, you know, for fun. And I'm going to see what we get in return. So I'm going to go to my dude here. And he's down here, all right. All right, what you want? So he will take this Darknet unit. Okay, that's all the only thing I have that he wants. Oh, you don't have to land to trade? Whoa, how do you do that? Just from the... Oh, cool. That is pretty nice. Yeah, I could teleport it down to them. So let me see what you're saying. Options. Um, fast trading. Oh, and you could even skip the shuttle arrival. That's pretty sweet. Love it. Thank you for that tip. That's pretty cool. So let's see how that looks, actually. So um, I'm going to go to this screen yeah you could just trade from here you don't even land falcor good evening my friend i am so with you slate aspire is just one of my favorites i love to play it every now and again there was a period where i was playing it non-stop hence why i have over a thousand hours on the game okay uh let's see here I'm going to try to trade him. Oh, 
what's the item that you want? It's the dark net currency. You know what, though? It might be in my inventory. Uh-oh. Where'd it go? Is it in my dude's inventory? I agree. There's a little arrow on the right side. Oh, okay, let me check that out. Oh, okay, you just trade them automatically what they want. Wow, okay, so this is what he's going to give me, is 1477 of something. And I don't know what it's going to be. Crispy, I loved 14. Um, I played it for about a year when it first came out. I think it's great. Okay, look at what they gave us. They gave us some shotguns, and they gave us some... Ooh, okay, so some licenses and a bunch of booze. <laughs> what a game. They're like, all right, you're going to go trade. We're going to give you a few shotguns, a whole bunch of bottles of booze, and then, you know, some licenses. That's sweet. All right, I picked up everything. And I'll leave. I'm going to go into my spacecraft. And we're going to go... Uh, unlock that. Unlock that. Oh, okay, cool. So you could see, like, what possible they would give you. Great. That's a great tip. Thank you. All right, so let's see. Um, I don't have anything that they want. They want... Uh, I want to keep that. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's awesome, Crispy. It's finally coming to Xbox. All right. Um, here we go. And let me check my loadout. Oh, that's where this went. That's why I couldn't trade it, because it was in his bag. Well, um, here. You don't need that. Get out of here. And then... I need more ammo for my energy weapon. Do I? Is that the all that I have? It looks like it. That's fine. I love that when you come back to the ship... All of your stuff just gets repaired for free. That's pretty sick. Even if the analyst of Grasshopper Technologies are expected an attack from Tez, the appearance of a trained PMC operative here will be a surprise. We'll drop you off at some convenient location where you could start your sweep, act according to the situation, but show them that great goals are achieved with special cruelty. Jane is a real piece of work. Okay, so they showed the ship for a second, and then I skipped it. Cool. I, I actually kind of like the shuttle landing, but it's all right. Empty shelves. What are you doing to me? Oh, a class chip. Oh, okay. These are the um, AR, Autonomous Robots. So they are, their shock resist is zero. So that's why my electric weapon is so good against them. I believe. These guys have a lot of armor, though. Ow. God. All right, here. Switch to this. Um, just shoot. Yeah. So funny. So I'm like standing there. I, I don't think I took any damage, really. The guy, my armor was too strong for that guy, but when in doubt, just go with your blaster. I did have to fire three bullets there, but still. Weapon parts, workmen, blah, 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 blah. Okay. We're going to um, eat that, take that, unload that, and 
Do I want to start? Yes, it does, Mr. Kiwi. It's pretty sweet. So you can find those. And what's cool too, Mr. Kiwi, is you can change your class like any time before the mission. But the experience that you've earned um, sticks with the class that you're on, as far as I understand it. But I think you could switch back and forth and retain your experience as long as you don't die. Yeah, let's get that class chip. I think I actually missed it. Alright, so this is... Um, we've already unlocked this one. This is for Eclipse Blades, unfortunately. Oh, that's a good idea, to make sure you don't lose it. Oh, but they even give you the opportunity to evacuate when you get a new class. That's cool. That's right, Alex, because normally... Um, oh, you could, chop the, you could chop the robot parts? Interesting. Let me see about that. That guy got a shot on me. What a jerk. It's a contusion, though, so it's self-healing. I don't know if I could do much with this guy. All right. I'll tell you what I can do. I could take apart all your stuff. Alright, a little water. I'll take it. You're dead. Uh-oh. You're dead too, buddy. Oh. We got a joker over here. They're gone. They tried. Uh. I'll drink that. Exactly. Oh, she had a Mr. Veggie. We'll take that. We'll save that for later. Pick up the water. The balaclava. What am I doing again? Kill everyone. Oh, 50%? Okay. Kill them all. Uh, Alright, let's hit this door over here. Alright. So this scanner... I, I could recharge it with battery cells. But I don't want to. I don't think these count as a battery cell, do they? It says battery. Well, I'm definitely not using my bullets for my gun to recharge that thing. I need these. That's my precious ammo. I'm behind cover. You're dead. Ah. 
CQC going up. Snake would be so proud. Oh god, the quad damage. They love it. Uh, alright. Yeah, these helmets are really nice. Uh-oh. They're coming for me. Maybe not. Maybe they're not coming for me. I gotta go around the long way then. I'm not gonna just fire at them if they're in cover. Gross. So many games want you to eat human flesh, and I feel like it's just a litmus test like, where if you click on that, they put you on a list. Maybe they're just collecting data. And they're like, well, 70% of people eat human flesh. Oh, that's really cool, Alex. Uh-oh. Oh, they finished Pesticide Not Required? That's cool. I need to play that again. I can't... I think they might have just invited me to try the demo, but I'm not sure about that. I'll have to look at that. I had fun with that. Look. My pistol's not going to do what I need against this guy. He's got too much armor. Yeah, I don't think I do. I just got the demo. That's a good price. Not at all. Nice. That's the only thing I worry about with that game. Is it like... Does it have the same replayability as like Vampire Survivors? I believe in the reasonable rate of return. Oh, okay. Well, then... That's the secret. Who's this guy? Oh, he's strong against most things. He's a manager. These managers... Oh, boy. Oh, somebody shot him. That's funny. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping it wouldn't hit me. I'm just going to stand in this. I poured water on myself. I'm just going to stand here. The fire should not spread to my square with the water on me like this. 
Yeah, that is cool, Alex. Are you gonna... You have Game Pass, right, Alex? Are you gonna play Lightyear Frontier? Tomorrow? I think it's on there. Pro quasi skills? You mean this? Oh, you mean to pour the water on yourself. Yeah, it was like the only way to not keep burning. Oh, okay, Alex. Look at this mag vest. It's way better than mine. Oh, cool, Mouse. That's awesome, my friend. All right, great. So now I got an extra slot down here, which means more inventory space. So I could put down, you know, just some ammo. Yeah, this vest is sweet. It's got, um, it resists fire, resists beams, helps you reload, has a size of three. Love it. I don't think the robot really cares. I also don't know if this robot... Um, is it neutral? Like, do I even need to attack this robot? And does it count towards my mission fulfillment? I think I'm just, like, needlessly attacking this thing. That's right. It's a good point, Alex. Oh, boy. This thing has no idea I'm here. I just can't hit it. Alright, rifle time. Uh, Alright, that's fine. Oh, I'm about to die of starvation. Good God. All right. I've been on this floor forever. But not 50% yet. Oh, I didn't see you. No. Who are you? Lifter? Uh, you had some, well, that's not quite what I was looking for. Human skin. The quasi-morphic weapon. Man, this crossbow is actually pretty sweet. It does a lot of damage. Nails of pain. I guess all you have to do is get over the whole... You're a terrible... Like... Wow. They shot me through the... The shelf. It looks like the shelf was blocking... Oh my god. Alright.
Yeah, I would. Are there bad effects for using the crossbow? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my... Okay, great. Thank you. I didn't know if it, like, corrupted you or something. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I see. 90? Good lord. Yeah, crit chance 100%. Oh my goodness, you're right. So you... Yeah, you have one shot, but they're dead. That's pretty fun. Aw, oh, man. He had... I had to get out of cover. Aw, oh, my helmet broke. Now we got a military first aid kit. Infection, all right. I should have brought some uh, repair kits. Now well, chicken noodles are good. Gun bang magazine. All right, I guess people just want to trade for it. Fine, fine. Interesting. Oh, you can? Oh, thank you. I thought that was just a crafting item. Oh, awesome. Oh, I was wasting them. It's already full. I saw this bar. Oh, does the condition deteriorate every time you repair it? Like the max condition? So you can't just infinitely repair something? Good to know. It's early access, Ninja Joe. By the way, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. I'm playing the beta branch right now. Looks great. Um, I feel like that's a... Well, there's this one little area that we need to do. Ninja Joe, I don't blame you at all, my friend. I totally understand that position.
This chest laceration is no joke. So right there, what's up, my friend? Well, I don't have enough experience to make a good uh, opinion about that. I know some other people might, but it definitely feels like I can sense some uh, changes in the balancing for sure. They want me to kill everyone. All right, all right. Let's go to the elevator. Not going to be as easy as we thought. It is side splitting. I know, Devin. Jane is not messing around ever. I can't carry that. Oh, there's an assault rifle. I do love that, but I, I can't hold it. I can, however, uh, unload the ammo. It's a spring. All right. There's a baddie. I'm just shooting this robot again and again. What you got? Molotov cocktail? That's upsetting. I do love these guns. Hey, Pebble, what's up, my friend? Good evening. Good to see you. Doing great, my friend. Thank you for asking. Just blowing people up. In quasi-morph here. Wrong button. Oh, nice. Good old Monday Night Magic, Pebble. That's awesome. Oh, no. I missed. What a disaster. Um, I'm hurt. Deep wound. All right. <laughs> Chloe, what's up, my friend? I, I feel like I'm brain dead after that hit to the head yeah i love that's one of the things that magic does so well is like they have um events at your lgs like the i swear my lgs does like monday night magic friday night magic and saturday night magic <laughs> but they have so many things going on Oh, cool. Did you buy one of those Fallout um, Commander decks, Pebble? Or did you just buy one of the latest set ones?
Cool. Yeah, the Precon Commander decks are one of Magic's best products right now. That'll do it, Pebble. They do that, but yeah, the, the Precon Commanders, like, they usually have really, really strong, stable cards in them. I like them a lot. Uh-oh, yeah, good point. Yep, yep, exactly. That is how it happens, Pebble. You start buying dual lands for that uh, commander deck. And it's on. A few hundred apiece. Uh-oh. I missed. Oh, dear God. Got him. Yeah, it's it's unreal. Uh, this guy had some moon pants. I mean, who doesn't like moon pants? But I haven't killed enough people yet. Just another day where you haven't killed enough human beings to complete the mission. Uh, there's nail guns. Nah, I don't need that. Uh, noodles, yeah, I'm really hungry. I'll take that. Uh, they have a single shot pistol that uses buckshot. I mean, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to fix my gun. Oh my god, what am I doing? I just walked right into this thing. A grim warrior of the dark and mysterious Bromfatura of the moon. Yeah, that was a mistake. So this is like a boss or something, and I just, just waltzed right into its range. Oh! Okay, so here's a question for you then. What do I click on to, to run faster? Is it X? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, he sounds awful. He's on wheels, too, so I can't, like, just easily escape him. I mean, I set him on fire. Actually, that kind of hurt him. Yeah, the barrels are terrifying. He's like a robot in a wheelchair, kind of. No, he's just on wheels. Oh, God. No, I can't run from him. Okay. Okay. I should. Uh, he broke my pants. This is getting rude. All right, so let's go ahead and... Try and fix myself up a little bit. Nice.
Are you taking damage, is the question. Not really. I'm just going to stand here and get knocked by this guy. Got him. Crossbow killed him. I mean, unbelievable. That crossbow just saved my life. Sort of. Let's see. I'm at 85 health. I have injuries all over my body. Thigh fracture. Foot fracture. Okay. Fracture. Fracture. Skull fracture. Uh-oh. The crossbow is... I am very glad that you told me to celebrate it because it just saved me. You're right. I should go to the next floor. I keep forgetting that it's not 50% total. It's 50% for the floor. All right. What did that guy have? Did he at least drop anything? Like, I don't even see a body for that guy. I know, Alex. It's very much in that wheelhouse, is it not? Yeah. Oh, he phased back out. That's a good trick. Alright, I used the first aid kit to try to heal everything. Uh, what is this? A sedentary quasi-morph that is extremely hard to kill. Um, okay, we're just gonna close the door and just move on. You've told me enough. Here's the elevator. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Cloning control system. Yeah, take it. See if it's good. My skull fracture is really acting up. Ooh, look at this. We get a new combat tactic. It's Tifton's Elite. Oh, I can't carry it. I'm going to carry it. I don't know if that'll help. 50%. I put a bandage on my head. I'm fine. What could go wrong? Alright, I'm pretty much out of... I need some new guns. But will I fail the mission? I assume so, right? Oh, okay. Do you get to keep all the stuff you have? Sorry for all the questions. I just want to make sure if I'm, like, 
doing the right thing. Okay, cool. Man, there's a lot of guys here. I am not very good with this weapon, but we're going to win. There you go. Oh, because of this level? So you're saying that because this is going to happen, I need to get out of here? Okay. I will accept your knowledge. I still need to do two more floors. I don't have any bullets. Like, it's just time to get out of here. All right, sweet. It really was. It was four skulls. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock the chip. So, Tifton's Elite has been unlocked. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think she's happy. Okay. So now we're going to finish the mission and I don't mind going to So they gave me Ooh, I can make this really nice armor. That's pretty sweet. And then I'm just checking to see if I have anything that these other trade stations want. No, I still want to keep that. All right, so if I wanted to make some of the heavier armor, it's down here. Um, I could actually make this jacket 18 hours, but that's fine. Start it up. Let's get some food going. And get me another bandage is fine. All right. Well, that mission is hard, so we're going to need to find one that's, well, you know, not as hard but if i go into um just pretend like i wanted to go to the station here no i can't see it unless i were to select somebody so francis if i tried i could also select this one tifton's elite um Getting a wound activates the trigger for stabilizing your wounds. That's nice. Oh, cool. You get to place turrets. That sounds like a lot of fun. Heavy weapons. Grenades. Cool. That sounds like a fun class. Awesome. Hey, Gamer Wolf. What's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. I have to tell you what. The more I play of this game, I like um, everything that I've seen so far. It still feels fun. I don't, like I said, know enough to make a real determination on what has changed. I'll look at the patch notes. I, I do understand that you said they were vague, but the fact that they're still balancing the game just feels really cool that they are working on it. And I'm excited to continue to try to build up this account. I had to start over to play on the beta branch, but that's not a problem. And have fun with this game. Everyone, it is indeed my bedtime, I want to say. Thanks so much for coming out. I hope you all have an excellent 
evening or day. And I appreciate you sharing your knowledge and helping me get better at this one. We'll be back tomorrow night for some more fun. If you're interested, Alex, Siloom, Quaff, Crab, Crispy Bacon, Pebble Plays, Devin, Clo, Gamer Wolf, Alexander, Taco, Sugar, Ninja Joe, Alex, Alex, Falcor, Mr. Kiwi, Mouse, Nicholas, Jamnuska, Bryson, Heathrun, everybody out there, take care, have a great one.